Hey everyone, today's heart-centered practice is be brave, which we all are. We're all being brave right now. Some facing fears every single day as essential workers, others of us facing much more quiet fears, but each of us every day is having to face down our fears. Of course, each of us harbor different fears and each of us experience fear differently but we all have one thing in common. None of us can avoid looking at our fears right now. And so here's what I wanna say. Although we may wish we weren't having to do this, facing our fears is in fact vital, necessary, life-saving work for us all. And in this way, we are all essential workers because the work of facing down fears opens the door to the healing power of love that so many of us have forgotten actually even exists. And the power of love is the only thing that can turn our planet around. We are all having to learn to become courageous in ways we'd probably hope to avoid in our lifetimes. The word courage comes from the French word for heart, cœur. And that, in a nutshell, is why facing our fears is so important. It makes us realize that the healing and the hope and the help we're all seeking right now can't come from our heads. It has to come from our hearts and from the hearts of others. I think many of us are having wake-up calls right now, recognizing that fear has taken up residence in our psyches. And we don't know how it happened. And that can feel almost scarier than fear itself. We think, how did, how did fear get here? How did I become fearful? Well, actually, that's the perfect question to start asking because that can be the kick in the pants to wake us all up. Fear is always going to try to convince us that being awake to fear is way scarier than being asleep. The snake Ka in the Jungle Book is trying to lull Mowgli into a mesmeric sleep. And Ka says, are you afraid of me? And when Mowgli replies, no, Ka says, sometimes fear is the only intelligent response, don't you think? You see, fear is always advocating for its own existence. And then fear gets us to do all the things that got us here to overeat and overdo and overspend and overachieve and overmedicate and oversedate and overdistract ourselves. But when we face our fears, we actually recognize that we are brave. And that's when we reconnect with our hearts. So no, Ka, fear is not the only intelligent response. Fear is a warning system, a wake-up call. And that's why we need to be brave. But as we are brave, we also need to be kind to ourselves, to acknowledge that what we're all doing right now is tough stuff and that it is hard after a lifetime of choosing our heads and choosing distraction to face fear, to choose love, to invite love into our lives. So did you know that one of the meanings of the word brave is to make our lives splendid? It's hard to believe right now, but that's actually what we're doing. And each of us, you, are brave and powerful and amazing and splendid. And by being brave and facing your fears, you are showing up as your true you, not the one who's been lulled to sleep. And the true you is showing up in time to save the day. We are all the superheroes with the superpower of love that can save the world. And this little act of courage of leaning into love and being brave is the only true superpower there is. So be brave today. And in doing this, you will be loving viral. You are awesome. You are brave. You are powerful. And love will heal and love will love us all whole. Love viral. Be brave.